Hey, good morning, y'all. Man, I am some kind of excited because Jesus is Lord. And because the Word works, <clears throat> I can go get my Bible and change anything. The Word of God on the inside of the heart of man coming out of his mouth will change anything, everything. Jesus said nothing is impossible to him that believes, and I'm a believer and you're a believer. The year of suddenlies, the year of great change, oh my. Now, <clears throat> the Bible says this, write the vision. That's Habakkuk 2.2. 2. Now, I'm going to read it. Write the vision. Make it plain. Now, I've been sharing this with you for the last couple of weeks, and yeah, I am, I'm excited. Uh, <clears throat> started out January the 11th was when I completed this. The Lord spoke to me on the first or the second of the year and said, it's going to be a year of great change. And the year of suddenlies, I'm talking about suddenlies. So I wrote out my vision, three pages. I mean, these are things that I'm believing God for. And I dated it <clears throat> January the 11th, uh, you know, 2020. Now, this vision is not for me to share with you. It's for me to share with me. And I read it every day. <clears throat> I read it out loud. Somebody said, why out loud? Because I think it. I see it. I hear it with my outer ear. I hear it with my inner ear. And faith comes by what? Hearing. Now, somebody says, well, I don't want to write it out. Well, there's not going to come to pass. Jesus said, write the vision. Write it out. <clears throat> now, notice some things that I've got here in red. <laughs> uh, ooh, glory be to God. Here's another couple of things I've got in red on the second page. I want you to know things have been happening around my house. I've had more miracles in the last seven or eight days. Look at there. There's another one on the next page. I believe my whole thing's going to be in red here just any day. But I'm going to tell you, the month of January, today's the 16th, the month of January has been the month, best month that I've had in seven or eight years. And some of the things that's on here that I've already got marked, like one of them I've got marked January the 13th. So two days from the time I started doing this, this one came to pass <clears throat> uh, January the 15th. Four days from the day I started doing this, this one has already come to pass. Suddenly, and over here, my, my, this one has to do uh, with my, my health. January the 13th, two days after I'd done this, I had one of the biggest miracles, something I've been believing God for, for seven years. And there it is. Actually, it happened two days before that, but it was two days before I found it out. So the day of 70s, I've been believing God for that for seven years, seven, good number, seven years, and I got it in the mail. I tell you, God's good. And I just jumped on the scales back there and I'm well on my way of having my perfect weight. I'm telling you, this stuff works. Now, write the vision, make it plain. What do you believe in God for? Well, I'm just going to, you know, hope that everything gets right. Hope's not going to get the job done. I've told you this a lot of times. My dad taught me to hunt when I was a kid. I hadn't hunted in the last few years, but we didn't use shotguns. We called that a scatter gun, a scatter shot. You just kind of <laughs> shoot something out there and hope that that, you know, it gets it. No, we were, he taught me to even hunt small animals with a, with a, with a 22 rifle and that if I became a good marksman, I could always get what I wanted and I did. Well, you ought to be very specific about the way that you pray. I even ask God for a particular color and a particular model when I'm believing God for a car or a pickup truck. And I've, I've laid my hands on one. I've already found out exactly what I want, and I'm praying about it, believing God for it, you know, and it's going to come to pass. But let me tell you this. I told you a minute ago, January has been the best month that I can remember. Now, we have bills come in, you know, all the time, um, you know, utility bills and some other bills, things that you, you have to have to live on. This is the first month that I can remember ever having all of my bills paid and not having to stretch my faith and believe God to get enough money just to pay my bills, buy groceries, and a few odds and ends. Um, we've already got every bill paid, plus several, several of the debts that's been hanging around for years. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, great big old debts, but but several little debts that I just didn't have the money to pay, and the people were very nice to me, and I talked to them and told them about it. I mean, already they've been paid off three, four days, 
and miraculously, I was able to pay all the bills and money left over. I mean, I paid all the bills, you know, the electric bill, the water bill, um, the other things, you know, the insurance bills, auto insurance. I was able to pay all that. Um, and, and another bill that I had, I was able to pay all that on uh, yesterday, Wednesday, and had money in the bank. I went, took my wife out to dinner last night, uh, had money left over. I'm telling you, this stuff's working for me right now. And what God spoke to me was to tell you this was the year of change, and suddenly all this stuff will come to pass. So what you're going to have to do, if you hadn't already done it, please, please take the word and write it out. And I have had several different people that have sent me a little letter or something like that and said, you know, man, God's working. I mean, there's some big things taking place. So I'm going to check every one of these out. That one was January the 15th. Uh, all my debts paid. I just happened to turn over. All my little debts were paid January the 15th. Paid them off up here uh, uh, the, at the very beginning, January the 13th. Uh, to hear clearly the voice of God. God's been speaking to me, and I've been hearing, and I've been obeying. <laughs> I got sense enough to obey. Uh, and and right down here, in, in family, the first thing on that family, that Pat and I would fall in love again, madly in love again, and that took place in two days. I'm talking about we have just been having a blast, a ball, because I wrote it out. Write your vision. Make it plain upon tables. Make sure you've got all the scriptures in there, and I'll come back to this tomorrow. But until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, be blessed. Expect a great year of change. Remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.